Hello students and welcome to this video. In today's lesson I will be talking to you about or I will be giving you a review of pronoun forms. As you can see I highlighted the four pronouns I am using in these four different statements. The first one says we are English students. We is a personal pronoun, a subjective personal pronoun actually. So that tells you that we, this personal pronoun here, is acting as the subject of the sentence, as the subject of the verb. We are English students. So this here is acting as a subjective pronoun. Subjective or subject pronoun. All right? The next one is the best cheerleader is she. The best cheerleader is she. This here cannot be the subject of the sentence. This is simply a complement of the subject. The best cheerleader is a subject. And this is a complement of this subject here. So this makes it a complement. The next one says, Leonard, Leonard intended to be he. In this sentence or statement, we are looking at a very different structure. Leonard intended to be he. We have the verb, the infinitive be, to be, without a subject. So, this is simply a complement of our object, he. And the last one says, give me another hamburger. Give me another hamburger. This is not the object. Hamburger would be acting as the object. And me would be acting as, I mean as a subject. And me would be acting as the object. That is why we are using an object pronoun. And this is an objective form pronoun or an object pronoun. This is just a review. In some of my previous videos, I explain um, objective pronouns and subjective pronouns. So if you look them up, you will surely find a lot of answers to any of your doubts you may have. I have three more examples here for you. The first one says, the door was opened by us. As you can see here, us is a pronoun we are using. And it is an object pronoun. Us, in this sentence, is working as the object of this preposition. The door was opened by us. So it becomes the object of by. The next one is, he wants to love him. Him is another object pronoun. And that is working as the object of this infinitive, to love. And the last one says, he thought it to be her. Now we have a verb be infinitive with its subject. He thought it to be her. So, we thought it to be her, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next, I will leave you some homework because you need to practice to improve your English and of course to master this very, very interesting topic. For homework, you are going to write four sentences using the subjective and objective form of pronouns and the infinitive to be with and without a subject. I hope this isn't very difficult for you to do. If it is, please look up my other videos on the infinitive to be with a subject. I have another one with the infinitive to be without a subject. 
subjective form of pronouns and objective form of pronouns. These are actually four summarized topics and videos. All right, so for those of you who have a workbook, just go ahead and do your homework there. And if you don't, please leave your homework in the comments section below this video. Thank you so much for watching it, and I will see you hopefully next time. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. Pronouns connect dependent clauses to their preceding background. This means that a relative...